Now that was weird. I don't think I've ever heard that particular like echo type of thing before. Okay, let's take a look and make sure that everything is synced up. It's something I should have done before I went live. Okay, seems to be fine. Good, good. Okay. I don't care about PUBG. I will claim those offers. Just get a give a uh, few moments here. Wonder why that happens. Um, let's turn off the smoothing and see if that fixes it. So I know it happened again during this. Uh, no? Huh. Maybe it was some sort of interlacing? Oh well. Um, whoops. Nope. Normal. Okay. Beep beep. Beep beep beep. Okay, so if I remember correctly, last time I was playing this, um I saved like two steps from a cutscene, so that'll be helpful. That one step monster. it keeps <laughs> getting away huh what's this it's a gate card good i'll take it along with me that's weird so they decided to um leave the cockpit paint facing the ground after the end of that cutscene. Eh, slightly sloppy. But I'll deal. Whoa. I don't need to get on this elevator now. Okay, thank you. I was thinking of streaming earlier, but uh, someone else in the apartment building was um, listening to something very, very loud. Like, enough so that it probably would have come over the microphone. <laughs> okay. Uh, where was that door? Is it on the previous level? I can't remember. Is it on the map? Floor map! Okay, so that's where I am. It's the main terminal room that I, you know, broke. Oh, that's right. I don't think I've explored down by the cryogenic sleep room. Okay. So, let's do that. Oops. There we go. A partition. There's a slot for a card key. 
Can't open this without a card key. Maybe I have a card key. Maybe I should try this card key that I just picked up. Oh look, this card key works. It's a card key. The card key I picked up in front of the professor's room was for this gate. What could be on the other side? Completely unnecessary. Wow. <laughs> what kind of place is this? There's bottled organs and stuff all over the place. Gives me the creeps. That's a researcher's personal laboratory. Gives me the screaming heebie-jeebies. Research on smaller scales are done in those labs. I can't relate to this researcher's hobby. <laughs> be careful. There might be some hostile. There's one here labeled Abby Normal. Okay, I should probably go around this way first. And check out this little area. Nope, nothing. Oh, darn. Whoa, hold on. Crap, one of those. There we go. Phew. Those things can and have wrecked me before. Oops. Okay. Oop. Man, trying to get used to the faster uh, griffin here. Okay, nothing there. Nothing here. What we find? Power unit. Get unit. Happy unit. Free unit for all. Okay, so that other door is a little closer, so I'm going to go here first. Because this might have storyline. Yeah, that looks different. Cryogenic sleep facilities? I'll check this out. Don't forget to wear your helmet. He's probably not going to wear his helmet. Whoa. Nope, he didn't Maybe wear his not helmet. Cryogenic sleep, but cold storage. What? A human? Why is there a person in cryogenic sleep? Isn't that what it's for? It couldn't be dead or something, could it? No, usually it's there to keep someone I alive. Contact the captain. Hi, Boss, Simon. This is Kid. I'm in a room in the cryogenic sleep facilities, and it looks like some person is in cryogenic sleep. What cryogenic sleep. I'll try to do something with it. Don't blow it. Let's see. Where should I start? Ah, oh, jeez. Um. Changing setting in facilities to cold storage temperature. Um. Don't know.
Well... Am I just supposed to keep... Okay. No operation instructions. <laughs> I'll go and check with the terminal. And I probably wouldn't have been able to go to this terminal ahead of time and get this right the first try, because that's not how Jim works. Jim has to fail before he can succeed. Yeah, I know I'm not going like straightforward most of the time here, but it's just when you're dealing with a lack of analog controls in a situation like this, it just tends to be a little bit easier. Beep beep. beep. Ah, the terminal's working. Something's being printed out. <gasps> what? Instructions for cryogenic sleep facilities. Great. The thawing process will be a snap now. Well, it sure is a good thing that this gets just, you know, printed out automatically when someone walks up to a computer. You know, I'm being really, really harsh on this game. And I, 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 I apologize somewhat. Because normally I'm not this harsh on games. Um, and I i mean, it still doesn't take away from my enjoyment of it. Not in the slightest. I still really love this game. But <laughs> it is a product of its time. This game just, yeah, screams 1995. You know, I probably should have checked my inventory and took a look at whatever item it was that I got. Cryogenic sleep facilities. I Cryogenic sleep facilities. Let's see. Let's do it right. Um, yeah, let's do it right. One, two... Three, four, five. Changing setting in facilities to cold storage temperature. Changing setting in facilities to cold storage temperature. Yeah, I know. I forgot to look at the item. Warning. Temperatures in facilities approach. Sorry. for the facilities <laughs> darn okay item um Document. A document. Cryogenic sleep facility. Cryogenic 0, sleep 3, facility. 0, 5, 0 is written on it. Don't need to use that. What was that again? Did I write it down? Cryogenic right? sleep facility. Zero three zero five zero is okay. written on it. Don't need to use that. Yes. Yes. As a matter of fact, you do need to use that. You dumbass. <laughs> 
cryogenic sleep facilities. Oh god. I can't blow it this Say time. it right. Cryogenic. Let's see. Let's do it it's right. Not cryogenic. Okay. Zero three zero five zero. Please let this work right. Raising facility temperature. There we go. What? A girl? <laughs> How long could she have been in here? Looks like she might be younger than me. Why was she put in cryogenic sleep? Cryogenic. Raising <laughs> hood. Uh. Hello. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> James, you kind of hey, deserve that. What do you think you're looking at? You just better not be getting any strange ideas about me. At least they, you know, Ouch. made it clear that you're actually wearing something. I wasn't doing anything. Dummy. This game is so PG-13 it hurts. Sorry about that, but we're here to help the people of Hamlet. So be a little grateful, will you? <laughs> Come to help? Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm sorry I hit you. Now that you understand, get dressed. Huh. Turn around. Right. Trying to see if this had an ESRB rating. Sorry, I'm ready. Oh, that's kind of cute. Come with me. Get on my VF. Get on my VF. Is that weird monster still around? It's a miracle that you're still alive. I'm all right. Monsters and robots don't bother you when you're in cryogenic sleep. <laughs> What? How do you know that? My sister knows a lot about that kind of stuff. Sister? Yes! Frances Lakewood. My sister's a specialist on viruses. What? Frances Lakewood? That mean something? Can you get on? Here I go. Ugh. Okay, I'm all set. I'm closing the hatch. This is so small. What is this? Don't complain. You can leave if you don't like it. You're yelling again. <laughs> hey, can you see me from there? You see that camera right in front of you? That's how I see you. Oh? Hey! <laughs> don't play around. I only did it once. You can leave any time. Fasten your seatbelt. You'll be knocked around if you don't. Well, it's good to know that there's a code for full energy and ammunition should I need it. But i um, going to uh, not use that unless I end up being completely screwed in some way. Oh! Oh! Enemy! The enemy! Hey there, Dosner. will you? We uh, just rescued a young lady from uh, cold storage here. Ouch! Oh, ouch! 
hey, you all right? She's in the second. My elbow. The second Don't seat of my Mac. Scratches. I'm risking my life here. Don't yell. It was very painful. <laughs> oh no. Hooray! You did it. Wow, that's Hopefully super. they took it well. If you weren't here, it would have been much easier. What? No. What did you say? It might have been a little Nothing quieter, but not easier. Dear. I see it. Is this going to happen every time? It's been a while since I've played this far into the yes. game, so. Got him again. <laughs> Say, are you a soldier? Nope. Then a security guard? Wrong again. Hmm. I'm a mercenary. Then why are you riding on one of these? Because it's part of my job. What a <laughs> Answer. Please don't talk while I'm fighting. I can't concentrate. How boring. Look, bitch, I'll let you out right here, right now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, that's uh, that's stretching it a little bit. Although I've been amused by the uh, um, news recently of a uh, black sarcophagus that was recently un uh, uncovered. And everybody in, in my feed is like, no, no, this is how horror movies start. Don't open the thing. Okay, every time I hit this thing, its, de it's uh, defense goes down and then back up. So I think uh, this might be um, a set thing. Here, come here, Titty. Come here, little cat. Well, you're the larger of the two cats. But you're little to me. You should come over here. Or just stare at my hand. That works too. Okay. Well, then if I can't do anything, I might as well just charge my way in. Darn, a direct hit. Hey, are you alright? Oh I I'm alright. I've heard about that. We might be in for some trouble. And it doesn't really prepared. shock me. What do you mean by that? Close your mouth or you might bite your tongue. Oh, jeez. Come here. Ah, tougher than I expected. Yikes! Ouch! There you go. <laughs> it hurts! You see the green switch on your right? If you press that switch, an airbag will pop out. If you don't secure yourself, you'll be banged around even more. This? Oh, <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow, fantastic. What the heck are you doing, dummy? That's the emergency switch. I well. don't know. No one told me anything. Oh, no. I've lost half my missiles in my option pack. I shouldn't have put you in the gun I didn't have seat. any missiles. I'm sorry. I apologize. And Forget where else it. would you have put her? It's over with, and we got the bad guy anyway. You look mad. I'm not mad. Okay, now that the cutscene is... How's the purge going, kid? 
Yes, boss. I'm making progress. I think I'm done clearing out the enemy in this area. I see. Who's that girl there? Oh. She was in the cryogenic sleep machine. Frances is her sister, and her name is... I'm Mary Lakewood. Ah, Frances' sister. So why don't you take her to level three? Go and take her to see Frances. It might hasten her recovery. I got it. I'll return as soon as I'm done reloading. Use elevator seven. Roger. Hmm, your name is Kid. Nope, that's my call sign for transmissions. I'm Jim, Jim Billington. The person I was talking to was Captain Conrad. Oh, nice to meet you, Jim. Pleasure, Mary. And please, don't get in the way when I'm in a fight. I won't do anything. I won't press any switches or anything. Because if I touch anything, you'll start yelling again. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll try not to yell at you. Great. Let's have a pleasant trip. <laughs> this is not a school excursion. <laughs> okay. Now I think I think we're done with cutscenes for a little bit. Um, so as far as eh, just cool down on the humor a little bit. Then you know, it's some humor doesn't really translate well over text. I've run into quite a few people like that online where it's like, you know, it probably would have been funny in person, but just didn't work well in text. That's elevator five. I've connected the power on level eight, so now it can be used. It stops Don't let it keep you from enjoying, seven and you know, nine, but different streamers, though. Now. As for the Switch thing... It doesn't entirely shock me because, I mean, elevator seven. the thing heats up and then cools down and heats six. up and cools down. I'll take Mary to where Francis is on this elevator. Yeah, he's kind of asking for it. And since it's such a, a small piece of technology, Jim, be a little bit weaker. Still alive? Yes, she's had a rough time and is sleeping in the medical facilities on level three. Don't worry, her life's in no danger. She should have died. Oh, jeez. It's her research that did all of this, you know. Many innocent people died, but she's still living. You shouldn't say that. She's your sister, right? Yeah, that's that's a little harsh there, Mary. Theory. Yeah. Comfy kitty. Purr purr. Oops. I have to take Mary to see Francis before I do anything else. Yeah, I, I know. I need to go to another level. But Oops. I kind of want to Mary look around. To see Francis before I do anything else. <laughs> I don't need to go to another level. Boss, this is Bighorn. About the terminal in Professor Mabel's room. I can't make heads or tails of it. There does seem to be some relevant information in the data bank, but I'm stumped on how to access it. Understood. What's important? Fair enough. We get back safely to Earth. Don't waste any more time on it. Bighorn, download all relevant information. Head towards level three. We'll set up our new headquarters there. Yes, sir. Just in case, I'll link up the data bank sensors to my machine. Good. You can analyze the situation with your machine in case something happens. 
Understood. Kit, Bighorn is joining your purge efforts. I want to get back to Earth as soon as I can, too. Oh, all of you are Earth people. That's right. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, I've never seen an Earth person before. You're an Earth person, too, Mary. No, she's no, not. I'm not. I was born and raised on the moon. I'm a lunar person. All my friends are, too. C cut that out. Stop looking at me like I'm something strange. <laughs> Person, but if you stay on the moon for more than a month, you become a little different from an Earth person. You haven't been on the moon for a month, have you, Jim? No, I haven't. Great! You're the first Earth person I've ever seen. Don't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> Just wonderful. What kind of unit you got? Power unit. Actually, I should probably use that. Um, power unit. It's an oh, good. Got quite a few of them. There, we'll leave it there. Let's use a, a couple of these too. Okay. Oh, no, get, 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 hmm. There we go. Arg. <laughs> and, you know, it's kind of funny. I found out that there was a uh, Dreamcast remake of this game. And then I was thinking about it, and I'm like, the Dreamcast only has one analog it's, stack. It's Enter passcode. And only two trigger buttons. How did they manage to port it to the only other console with a worse control scheme than the original PlayStation? I mean, even the GameCube has the C stick. They could have gone dual analog there. Uh Well, might as well just try all of them here. A terminal. Nine, five, six, two, one. Nope. I'll try one more. If I really need to have the uh, access, they'll tell me what it the code is. Enter passcode. Um. Nope. Okay. Nope, nothing there. Whoa. Is it the three six nine again? Huh? Yep. Whoa, dude. Oh, you. Oh, you. What do you intend to do with Francis? What do you expect? Darn, it's fast. <laughs> Boss, I messed up. The monster's taken Francis somewhere. What? What? Boss, this is Kid. I just ran into the monster. It was headed for Elevator 7. Use the 369 sensor to locate it. The monster transmits a strong reading on that sensor. Right. Everyone, pay attention to your sensor. We're going after it. Are you all right, Stormy? Don't worry 
worry about me. I'll just catch my breath and join up with you. Kid, keep Mary with you for the time being. That would be safer. Go after the monster. Roger, I'm going to try and rescue Francis right now. I hope my sister gets eaten by that monster. Dude, Don't chill. Don't start that again. Cut it out. <laughs> wow, kid. All right, I'm going to kind of check this stuff out really quick. No, nothing. Okay. And that's nothing of interest. Okay. Heading back out. As long as I don't get caught on more stuff. This is Bighorn. This the is Bighorn. Got off the elevator on the northwest area of level four. Right, everyone. Let's meet on level four. Pronto. You got it, boss. Okay. Floor map. Not going to tell me what I need to know. So I'll just try one of these. The monster's on elevator seven, going to another level. I can't catch up with it from here. Then maybe it was this elevator? The monster's on elevator seven, nope. going to another level. I can't catch up with it from here. Well, I can't tell which one is elevator seven. You know, a simple, like, environmental decal would have been useful here. could it be well anything useful here oh just another terminal that didn't even let me try using it weird but I'm Oh, I thought I had the floor map for this one. Like, the detailed one. Guess not. Um, does this go to a dead end? No, it doesn't. Jeez. Okay. Said the northwest corner of the uh, level, though. Oh, this is probably all considered northwest. That part in the middle south looks a little familiar, but... Okay, so I think I'm going to go toward that center part that looks kind of like a claw, like a, a mouth or something. See if there's some useful items there. Loot, loot! Oh, that's a door. Yeah. There's no control panel. We'll have to make Earth. a detour. <laughs> yeah, hi. Okay, well, that's one way of making sure I go in a specific direction. And if I try to go south, it's probably going to close another partition. Yep. Darn! Block Darn! Me. Oh, Jimmy Dang Doodle! Kid, 
This is Boss. I've reached level four with Bighorn. Stormy should be arriving shortly. Have you seen a monster? No, not yet. I haven't seen a trace of it. Not since I went to the bathroom earlier. Eliminate all enemy units in blocks one through four, then proceed. After you've cleaned up all hostiles, close off the partitions. That way we can keep the monster from getting away. Roger. After eliminating all hostiles, close off the partitions. <laughs> Roger, padding out my lines so I can get paid better. This is block one. I'll clear out all the small fry and close it off. Wow. Only took one shot. Oh, no. It's not dead. Okay, that's not fair. Tries. Yay! What do we got? A weapon. Mid gun launcher. Load limit. I didn't realize I was full up. Okay. Uh, might as well replace this linear cannon that's only got one piece of ammo left. Wrong button. Okay. Saw a toy surprise! Yay! It's better than Cracker Jack. Ah, nothing there. How about here? Yep. What do we got? What do we got? A unit. Power unit. Good, good. Yes, a high little cat. <laughs> you know, I haven't tried this since the uh, switch up here. Let's see. On that. Start. Media. There we go. Where is it? Ah, there it is. All right. I need to change this really quick. Meep.
There we go. Here's Tierty. Napping in my lap. Well, not napping right now. Yeah. The good kitty. Such good paws. Paws. And a good kitty face. Merp. <laughs> Yeah. Hi. You're being very warm. Okay. Back to the mission. Now that we've taken a short cat break. Did I go in here? Okay. Close this out. The enemy has been completely eliminated here. Okay. Now I'll destroy the gate controller and seal this block off. Why would you do that? There's got to be a way to close it without destroying the controller in case you have to get back out. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jim, you dumbass. Hold on. Let's, uh, oops. Nope, not weapons. Or not items. I want weapons. Um, let's put that gun launcher on. There we go. This is block two. I'll clean up the whole block, then seal it off. Well, we've got we've made a good start at least. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. Let's, you know what? Yeah, let's do a linear cannon. Yay, level 29. Power unit. All right. Good, good. And time to commit more property damage. I've cleaned out this area. Okay, now I'll destroy the gate controller and seal off this block. Crunch. Everything's set. On to the next block. Right. Nothing there. This is block three. I'll clear Damn it, Jim, just enemy units and seal it off. Let me fire. There we go. See, when when the mobs can't even use shields right, I know they're completely, utterly useless. <sighs> okay, looks like there will be some 
potential spots for toy surprises here. Yep. <gasps> Large beam gun! Yes! Equip that sheer. Awesome. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay. That went well. Power unit. This cat is being very good, which kind of stinks because I'd like to get up and get another drink. But you're just so comfy. I've cleaned out this area of all. <laughs> you're gonna the fall. All right. Now I'll destroy the gate controller and seal off this block. Crunch. All set. On to the next block. Nope, oh, this way. Okay. Now well, this gun this is gonna be fun. Well, this large laser is definitely doing the trick. This is block four. Yeah, Let's I know. Clear out this area of enemy units and seal it off. There we go. Jeez, I leveled up again. Hi, Siren. There. Move that out of the way. Because you like to hop up from the little uh, table I've got here. So I'll give you that option. Okay. Bring the map back up so I can see where more enemies are. Oh, goody. I hate those floating ones. They move too fast for this control scheme. Because you basically have to hit triangle and the D-pad to tilt up or down. It's not very intuitive. But it's all they had to work with. Well, speaking of which, I should probably uh, use some of those units I've been collecting. Wow. I was down to like 25 power units before. Okay.
and break the partition because that's what we do. Eliminated. Good. Now I'll destroy the gate controller and seal this block off. Wait. All done. The monster oh. doesn't seem to be in this block. Boss, this is Kid. Blocks one through four have been completely sealed off. Good. Now hurry up and locate the monster. We need to save Francis as soon as possible. Roger. Okay, give me one quick moment here. Okay. Wanted to uh, stop and restart the recording. Oh, hey! Is that big horn over there? Oh, can't go that way. Nope! Maria! Hi there! Ah, uh, Stormy! Kid, sorry I worried you a while back. Are you alright? I was just grazed by its claws. I'm going to make sure to repay that thing, though. I'm going to graze it with my it claws. A scar on my pretty face. I'll have to I don't see the it. Favor in double. If you let your anger get the better, I'm going to give it two you'll just scars. Get more scars. Let me get them for you. You just take it easy. What a wonderful thing for you to say, kid. <laughs> but if I don't get him myself, I just won't feel satisfied. <laughs> Murder. I'm just wasting my breath. But at least I tried. Jim, who's this? Oh, one of my buddies. Her name is Maria. <laughs> so that's the kid, Francis's sister. Hmm. They don't resemble each other. We have different mothers. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to meddle. And don't worry. I don't mind. It's nothing. It's perfectly normal here on the moon. I'll get your sister back. Don't worry. I don't care. You can leave her where she is. <laughs> Stop <laughs> the look on Maria's face. <laughs> they don't seem to be on the best of terms. That's rate, putting it lightly. Have to say, Francis. Kid, don't do anything drastic. Don't forget you have a passenger, a child. Take care. Can I move now? Who does she think she is? That old maid? She called me a child. Old maid is a bit extreme. From Maria's point of view, you're a child. I don't like people who treat me like a child. Not oh, quite as bad as Haseo repeatedly calling um, like a child, right? Pi a hag you, in uh, dot hack G U. Huh. Kid, how long are you going to continue your chattering? Oops. Chatter chatter. S sorry. Hurry, we can't afford to waste any time. R Roger. Mary, don't talk. I've got to concentrate. <laughs> okay, I understand. Don't talk. Okay. Oh no, there are more enemies up ahead. This may be dangerous. Whoa, what the hell? Why is it firing shrimp at me? This is the first time I've seen this type of bio monster. Yeah. Mary, something might happen. Be careful. Is this revenge for dinner? I'm... I'm, I'm... Not even really kidding there, I had shrimp for dinner. Yay, more power units.
Oh. It's gonna make me snake around, huh? Mary, are you hurt? Pouting a little, perhaps? I'm not. Well, you told her not to say anything, you dumbass! <laughs> She's following your instructions. Maybe not the ah, spirit of the directions, but, you know, to the letter. Mary, come on, Mary! Say something. Why aren't you talking? You say don't talk, and then say something. <laughs> Make up your mind, Jim. Right? So, you're pouting, eh? No! What she was baby. following your damn instructions! I'm just a baby. I'm a child, from Maria's point of view. Oh, gosh. Now she's throwing a tantrum. You don't like kids like me, do you, Jim? You're so nice to Maria, but you only yell at me. What the heck? She's kind of got you pegged there. I mean, you've been kind of an asshole to her. Granted, she hasn't been all sunshine and roses, but you've not been helping. <laughs> all right, you can talk now. I don't want to see your pouting face on my camera. Really? I can talk as I please? <laughs> Go ahead, Miss Excuse Mary. Me. I'm very sorry that I'm always yelling at you. Jim, don't talk like that. It's not you. I'm sorry I got mad. I'll try not to get in your way. Thank you. Please. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Tiri had almost oozed her way onto the floor out of my leg, out of my lap. <laughs> Little goofball. I think I'll wait to uh, get a drink until a uh, little bit later here. I'm going to finish this area and then switch to Breath of Fire. Actually, I might carry out a brief... Uh, um, experiment before switching to Breath of Fire tonight. Roger. Uh oh. My throat shot. You have a cold, Jim? Yeah, but it doesn't feel like it. Oh, blood! I must have hurt my throat or something. Why are you looking so worried? I'm fine. I have some really good medicine. <laughs> Don't bother. It's nothing to get concerned about. Yeah, well, it very well may be something to get concerned about, Jim. We all know how uh, good you are at predicting when you're going to need something. Ah, good, a rocket launcher again. I've been without one of those for quite a while. But that's because I haven't equipped one. Son of bitch. Well, the linear cannon's almost uh, run out, so might as well replace that. And before I forget, let's go in and actually equip that rocket launcher. Okay. Now we're good. Locked off. That's what I thought. Oh, hey there. Um, Rousin? Hey, kid. What's wrong? Hey, Bighorn. What's up? I met up with the monster a while back. The heavy armor got in the way, and I couldn't outmaneuver its attack. How embarrassing. You need help? No. I can take care of this in a snap. Go on ahead. Okay. Hurry up, Bighorn. Right. Say, Jim, who's that? That was Rosin. He gathers information, keeps us updated, and backs us up. Oh, 
He's really big, isn't he? <laughs> He's very nimble, even though he doesn't look it. I kind of feel like they're dragging this out. Roger, I'll do my best. Jim? What is it? You really don't want me to save your sister? Why is everyone trying so hard to save my sister? Because she's still alive. <laughs> Even if my sister is an evil person, you'd save her? Of course. Well, we're off to save Francis. Oh, hey, partition opened. Oh, oh, hi. Um, hold on for, oh, no. You're, um, you're Francis. Francis Lakewood detected. Oh, it's my sister. Sup369. Huh? It's you! Francis! Get away from there! Come here! Francis! All of you AMC should get out of here immediately. If you leave here right now, we can avoid any more bloodshed. Um... What? Our goal is not to take your life. However, if you persist in getting in our way, we will treat you as an enemy. Hey there, Benz. You're still saying that! Thanks for dropping in. never understand the situation what the heck are they talking about mary this is revenge revenge against amax factory they locked us up here and took away our freedom and home i'm going to let loose the virus on them um. that's not right you've got everything wrong you just don't understand mary this is your home do you have memories of losing your mother when you were a child do you have memories of being forced away from your planet? You have your real mother, and you might even make it to Earth one day, but I can't. My mother couldn't stand living on the moon and left father, but I couldn't go down to Earth because I have knowledge that is highly classified. It's not only me. One third of the people on Hamlet are in the same situation as I am. There's no reason to let loose that virus. Don't do it, Francis. Please! Please, stop it! Mary! This is my last warning. All AMC should leave immediately. Now. I... That's not possible. I was gonna say, I don't have the authority to decide that. <laughs> will be coming out on level four's east area. Good. Kid, take elevator four. Go up to level three first, then go back down to the other side of that level. Go. Bighorn, take Francis to level three. She should have other information too. Yes, sir. Kid, I'll come from the other side. Stormy, go to the eastern area of level four. The monster fled in that direction. Roger. Jim? Francis will be all right. We have to go after the monster. We're going up to level three in elevator four. Yes, but I don't have that on my map. Oh, you're just going to take me there. No, you're clearing off the screen. Got it. The monster's in the east side of level four. I'll go up on this to level three and go down the corridor to that level. <clears throat> oh, okay. This is a perfect place to save because there's no question what I need to do next. So... <laughs> 
Oops. There we go. Okay, 